Hi, my name is Kenneth Labuddy. I'm the Assistant Director for Systems at Broward College. Um, I run the, the systems team, a uh, compromise of uh, four or five folks that uh, take care of our infrastructure here. Our, our communications infrastructure basically uh, is uh, works between our systems team and our telecommunications team. Um, on the on the telecommunications side, we have an NEC PBX. Uh, we have several PBXs that are um, linked uh, by a voice over IP over our Metro Ethernet uh, system. Uh, some IP phones in that. Uh, the NEC has a proprietary IP configuration, so we're using s some of those. Uh, we have on the collaboration side, we're using uh, we were using Office Communication Server. Uh, we've actually migrated that to Link. Uh, the majority of our staff is only using it for IM purposes right now. We're in the middle of uh, starting the training and rollout of that product. We have uh, electronic faxes. We have um, a sharp devices that we're using for um, document uh, handling. And so that's, that's all being rolled into one initiative for our, our communications, uh, pulling it together as a unified communications project. Fortunately, we have a, a campus agreement with Microsoft, uh, and, and that led us to look at uh, the, the products that were available to us for, for collaboration. Um, it, it didn't make sense. Uh, we looked at several other, uh, some other uh, tools, but it didn't make sense based on cost for us to look outside of the Microsoft environment. Um, OCS, for we were doing a migration from Novell products to Microsoft products at the time, and our, our goal at the time for that, that process was just to replicate what we already had. So we, um, we only had IM at the time, and so we wanted a product that we could put together really quickly, uh, put out on the street, and, and um, Office communication server was that. I was able to put it up on two servers very quickly, get the kind of um, uh, tools that the users were used to using, and so that made sense for us. And then going forward, migrating to Link was just easy for us. We, 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 the licensing costs were relatively low, and uh, we have a virtual infrastructure, so you know the hardware is very easy for us for, to put together. So conferencing, uh, utilization inside the college was a uh, has been kind of ad hoc I'd like to say because uh, different departments had different needs uh, we've had uh, a contract with um, go to meeting for a while, but that was limited to like 20 or 30 licenses for the for the college. We would utilize uh, tools like join me and uh, uh, I think it's called Zimbra is, is the product with one of our learning management systems. So there was a lot of different tools out there. We also had some hardwired through ISDN uh, polycom units for point-to-point -point conferencing for our nursing department. Um, and we, we needed to come up with a, a single solution so we didn't have several different contracts, several different kinds of support. Our campus support folks were clamoring for us to, you know, kind of get a rain on it because they had to install all these different clients because we have an administrative lockdown on our PCs. Um, so they have to do all the installs. So we were kind of looking for one solution that would, that would make this go forward and, and benefit all of us at the same time. Our current link deployment uh, is at a, at a stage right now where we've come out of a pilot program. All of our users are actually running on the link back end. Uh, the majority of them still have the Office Communications Server client um, and have a restricted policy in place. Uh, we have approximately uh, 60 to 100 folks that are, have the uh, audiovisual conferencing policy working for them. Uh, they've been part of the pilot program and they're going forward using it now. Uh, we've uh, discontinued our license with GoToMeeting, so all of our meetings now are being done through our, our link conferencing. Uh, we're utilizing the audio codes gateway for our dial-in conferencing and link and for all the audio, audio visual pieces on it. Um, we are in the process of doing training we are, our professional development program has put together a very excellent training product and with the tools that Microsoft has provided we have a self-support site on our uh, intranet 
that our users are, are looking at and, and love the tools that are available there for learning the product. So the voice quality we've been experiencing has been it has been really excellent. Um, I, I think there's been some surprise, uh, especially when people haven't been able to distinguish between the dial-in and the and the PC communications audio. Um, any time that we've ha had any issues with it, we've pretty much been able to point at either the the connection speed or the device that someone was using, but the back-end audio quality has, has been consistently excellent, uh, surprisingly so. And, and even after the, the latest upgrade to the software, the, the, the Cumulative Update 4, we've noticed response times have been faster and, and the quality's been really excellent. So if you don't know, you can't tell the difference whether somebody's on the uh, dial-in or whether somebody's in the audio using Link Audio for the conference. The Link environment has been able to provide us some cost savings as far as us not having to maintain separate contracts for outside third-party conferencing. Uh, the ability to utilize our campus agreement licensing program, which provides us software at, a, at a, an extremely low cost comparative to the regular world, uh, as you know, outside of education. So we've seen some, you know, we we've seen some phenomenal savings as far as that is concerned. And of course, being able to utilize our existing virtual infrastructure and not having to provide a whole lot of external hardware uh, makes it a very uh, cost-effective solution. Well, it's, it's really interesting because not a lot of people know the extent of the abilities of Link yet, and we're beginning to roll that out. And I have the pleasure of being able to present a lot of those presentations to the faculty and staff. And, and the overwhelming response has been, uh, you know, a wow response, if you will. They, they're really excited about the, the tools, the ability to do recording, um, the fact that we can bring people from the outside that are not part of our organization, uh, the fact that we can federate with some of our uh, partners in other schools and, and be able to do, you know, uh, audiovisual conferencing with people like Palm Beach State, for example, one of our close partners. So uh, the response has been outstanding. They, they really are looking forward to the, the full rollout of the product. Well, I tell you, it's been a real pleasure. Working with Audio Codes on this pro project has, has been excellent. Uh, from the beginning, the, the contact with the sales staff, uh, they, they're obviously sales folks are, are, are you know very willing to help you out. But uh, alongside of them, the, the engineering folks, that the pre-sales engineering folks, and even the technical f folks that helped us with the demo uh, was an outstanding experience. They've been very concerned about our well-being, making sure everything's functioning. Uh, providing return calls just to see how everything's going at, at the time, uh, you know, helping us design the, the resources I needed and, and to choose the right product from the beginning. Uh, the choice to, to go with Audio Codes was easy for me. Uh, I, I've tried several other vendors and I just did not get the same kind of a response from the people. Um, you know, a lot of equipment does the same kinds of things in this field, but when you get that kind of back-end support with it, it it's a no-brainer as far as making a choice. So uh, the Link project right now, we're, we're looking forward to, to the expansion of the product. Um, we, we have the initial pilot has, has been done. We're in the beginning phases of rolling out the client college-wide and providing the, each of the faculty and staff who need it. Uh, we've, we've enabled the trainers to actually assign them the, the policies necessary as they've gone through the training so that they can leave and begin doing their own audio video conferencing. Um, we're, we're looking forward to that rollout. Uh, we're beginning to do some testing as far as uh, enterprise voice is concerned. Our IT department and, and a lot of our administrative staff is actually moving into a new complex and we're going to be strictly IP at the new, conflict, uh, new complex and so we're looking forward to trying some things with uh, audio codes and the link product as, as far as supporting that, uh, that new environment. And 
Uh, we are really looking forward to some of the presentations. We've got a uh, professional development day coming up and we'll be exposing a lot of the faculty at that point to the, to the new products. And uh, I'm working with a team to develop a cyber advising tool uh, utilizing links so that we can service our students. We have a lot of students that are online students only and do not get the same kind of attention that, that our students that come to the campuses do. So we're trying to provide that through our, our link products. So we've got a lot, of, a lot of exciting initiatives coming up utilizing the products. For one of the, the many projects that I've worked on at the college, I've been here for 15 years, um, this has been one of the most exciting that I've been partaking in working on the link product and and working with audio codes and, and trying to put this kind of system together. Um, as far as Microsoft is concerned, it's probably one of the best products that they've put together from concept to, to de deployment. Um, they're supporting uh, planning tools and deployment tools have been the best of all their products. Um, and the support staff that I've experienced, uh, pre-sales and post-sales, has been excellent. Um, the working with audio codes, a lot of the partners we see uh, have really embraced the product and our, the integration has been so excellent and tight that it makes you know working with what these products really fun. And so uh, this has been one of my most exciting projects. I, I see a lot of envy in some of the people from my department going, you get all the good stuff. You know, I have been working with all the gadgets and I've got all the, the latest tools in my office. So. I like this. This is a this has been a great project.